Hey everybody, I'm here today to talk to you about six steering don'ts for driving. These are six things that you should not do while steering a car. You should not do these six things ever with the steering wheel. Let's get right into the video. Number one is you should not grab the steering wheel with an underhand grip. Okay, so you have your steering wheel here, and, and by the way, I have my notes over here underneath the camera, that's why I keep looking down. So you have your steering wheel right here, and most of the time, people are gonna grab the wheel at either the nine and three, or the 10 and two, or even down here at the bottom, like whatever the case is, you're gonna grab it like this, right? What I don't wanna see you doing is grabbing it with an underhand grip like this. Sometimes I see drivers do this, okay? They go to make a turn, and they think they can just go like that, because it's, you know, kind of like a lazier way of turning like that. You just move your wrist basically like that right and that is not a good thing to do i'll tell you why two reasons number one look at what's directly in the way of your airbag your whole arm that means if the airbag is deployed your arm's going to go on your face you're probably going to you know sustain some massive injuries it's going to be more dangerous than if your hands were overhand gripping the steering wheel number two you have very little control look at the control that i have not much okay not much control when i'm turning instead of if i go like this i have much more control over the wheel if i'm doing something like this okay so the second steering don't for driving is don't take both hands off of the wheel Listen, we've all been there. You know, you're driving, all of a sudden your jam comes on the radio. You're just you're just breaking it down in the car like this. You know, you're just jamming out and you're like, "Oh wow, wait, my hands are off the steering wheel." All that it takes is just a quick moment of something happening, an obstruction coming onto the road, you have to slam your brakes and steer, you have to swerve around something, and you're probably going to get into an accident. So instead of jamming out, put the car in park, go to a parking lot, in the parking lot, go ahead, jam out, dance away, and then get back on the road. Don't take both hands off of the wheel, it's very, very dangerous. Number three, the third thing that you should not do with regards to steering while driving is you should not smash the wheel to one side or the other. So you have your steering wheel, and I'm talking about when you're turning full lock to the left or right. So when you turn all the way to the left and your steering wheel can't go anymore, avoid smashing it because that can cause some damage. Same thing with the right. You know, you can turn to the right and you can even turn with a decent amount of pressure like that. You know, that's totally fine, but you don't want to smash it. So what, even if you're steering fast, slow down towards the end. If I were to steer fast to the right right now, I would just slow down right towards the end. This way I'm not, you know, doing any damage to anything related to the steering column and so forth. The fourth steering don't of driving is don't grip the wheel really hard. Now I know that you want to have control of the steering wheel, obviously, and you might be tempted to just get a really good grip on that wheel like that. And that's not the right thing to do because you might have full grip of the wheel, like your hands are not going to slip off of that wheel, but you're very stiff with regards to your maneuvering, which is not what you want to be doing. So instead of gripping the wheel really hard, you know, just have a firm grip on the wheel, but have a flexible movement of your body so you're able to actually steer nice and smoothly. The fifth uh, steering don't for driving is don't oversteer or understeer. Now I'm going to make this simple. Oversteering is when you turn the wheel too much for a turn. Understeering is when you don't turn it enough. So if I'm supposed to take a turn, and this would be the ideal amount to turn the wheel, if I turned it this amount, I would be turning with too much of a curvature. If I had only turned it this amount, then I would be turning with too little of a curvature. One will cause you to go into the curb, the other will cause you to go into the opposing lane of traffic. It's a, depending on which side of the road that you're driving on. It's as simple as that. Don't do either. Learn to steer and turn properly. Last but not least is number six, which is don't lose control of the wheel. This can happen sometimes, whether you're driving on ice, sand, a rocky road, whatever the case is, whether you're not really gripping the wheel hard enough, you know, you can lose control of the steering wheel. And if you lose control of the wheel, you pretty much lose control of your car. Because this is essentially what allows you to control the vehicle. You can brake, but it's still going to take you a little bit of distance to bring that car to a stop. So you need to maintain control of the steering wheel at all times. Don't lose control of the wheel. Sometimes it can even happen when you're driving and you're tired. You're driving with fatigue, you know, and you're fatigued and you're driving and you just lose control because you're, you're not really paying attention and your arms and muscles are all sort of just, you know, loose because you're so tired. So don't drive when you're tired on another side note. 
And that's it. Those are six steering don'ts for driving. If you like the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great car and driving videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.